barring the unlikely at this point. Looking at the 2-4. Two to get only the four. Matching the nine to maintain his lead. Now here in the eighth. And a strike. I'm sure he's thinking about those the two and the four in the last box. Would have been a big fill. Skip takes out six. It's the one, two, six, ten. those four for a spare. Second look at the mark. That is a third of the game for Skip. It's too shy of the century mark. Six fill. Two, four, five, and seven left. English telling me he's fighting right down to that last ball. That's good to see. He didn't give up. He knew if he got that spare, drop 10 on it, and pick himself up $50 in bonus money. 113 is score in game two. Added to the 121 from the previous game. 234 the total. So Jeff has already outdone that. 245 and counting. Following that strike. See the double. This is a part of that thousand dollars if he can throw one more. Needs this one to have a chance. The number he's chasing. Surpassed it now at 292, moving into third place. Oh, wait a minute. Bad news for Dan Gothier, who's been displaced in that top three. What a clutch shot from Jeff. And he can add to it right here. And Ten more. 171, second game for a total of 302. Firmly in third place. If that holds up, he'll have a chance. He'll have a chance to defend that title, but we've still got six weeks to go on this show. Don't you just love a bargain? Jay was just a little bitty order, but I felt... Back for the wrap-up, and Jeff, you're in the top three with that 302. Yeah, I, that was nice. I like that. <laughs> a nice sigh of relief and a strong finish really did it for you. Yeah, I knew I needed a whole bunch, and luckily I got it. You get six more weeks to wait and watch, but you'll be back next week to defend your championship. Good luck then. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you then too, right here on CNA for the Candleton Challenge.